Well, I got to say this. May I drop the name Mort Saul? One of our me? heroes. I remember back Basin Street East when that political scene was a mess. Hip reference. And he said, you think about it, the founders of this country, people like Lincoln, and we had Franklin, and we had Washington, and Madison, and so on. And look what we have today. What can we learn from this? Darwin was wrong. <laughs> <laughs>
that this went on, not only at Yale, but at Wellesley and at other So Ivy skirts had to do it too? And I mean, some women had to do it too? Women had to do it too. And then you said years later they found a, a cache of these? I opened the New York Times one day. A, a man decided to trace down His. these things. Right. And was assured immediately by Yale and other places, oh, that's all gone, that's over, that was a mistake, that's all destroyed. They're not. He found them. He found them in various places. He found them from Wellesley, from Vassar. He probably got Jane Fonda's. Who has them? And he also found them in the Smithsonian, where the wow. tons of them had been donated somehow as archival stuff. But as you said, astutely, this means that, you know, you know who goes through Yale and Wellesley and Smith? Yeah, yeah. The captains of industry, male and female, people in prominence in various fields, show, from show business to investment world, and CEOs and members of the administration are recorded for all time with, as Sid Caesar said in a sketch once, with your Sherry Netherlands hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> now, did anyone ever say, I'm not doing this? Did anyone ever say, why are no. we doing this? Why are we no, doing this? No, that's... You've hit it. That could I never mean, happen today. In the fifties, oh God, yes. In the fifties, you could do anything if somebody came in with a clipboard and a white jacket. The words "bleep you" would leap to everyone's lips. Take right. this Yale and stick it in your curriculum. Yeah, uh, but that was the main thing. That nobody protested. One of the many letters that came into my column in the Times online were saying, I, "Isn't it amazing? Nobody protested." One person wrote. You were wrong, Mr. Cabot. This never happened at Wellesley. Oh, wow. I know, because my sister went there. But Nora Ephron's graduation speech after Wellesley, when she was there, describes posture pictures of really? the humiliation of them when she was there. Yeah. So did we ever find out why they did it? Yes. Can you tell us? It had a very sinister aspect. That was my impulse. He's named in the column, and I can't think of it now, but some semi-quack sociologist sold a theory to the schools that this was a very important Indicator. study uh, that might influence the history of the country as we studied the somatotypes, an ancient word. Oh, ecto, that was endo, practice. all that bullshit. Yeah, that's it, endomorph, mesomorph, yeah, and that. ectomorph. An ectomorph is... Well, an ectomorph was the thin sort of person. Egghead, of, right? A it's thin. sort of cerebral. Thin and uh, cerebral. The mesomorph was what, in fact, Woody Allen actually is. People would think of him as an ectomorph, but he's very athletically built. And then that leaves out the endomorph, who was rather pear-shaped and tub-like. But these are all mythical, kind of vague. Well, he said they meant everything. It was it bordered on eugenics. The, well, the that's Nazi where term. I was going. That's why your mind went. Now, to here's what's interesting. Stuttgart there. What's interesting about eugenics is. The Germans got the idea from us. We started eugenics in this country in the 20s. And we yeah. actually sterilized mentally retarded people and crippled people. We had a whole program here. And the Germans were kind of, hmm. Anyway. Well, Mr. Nice. Belzer, if you don't like it here in America, yeah, yeah. go Get back where you came from. <laughs>